So today we are going to discuss uh, what we think is uh, one of the next groups of stocks that is going to find uh, fresh upside momentum and one that's actually struggled quite a bit, even uh, despite all the reopening and everything we've had, because we really haven't been fully reopened. But this one could be one that uh, could have uh, quite a, a serious amount of upside uh, over the uh, ensuing months or so. We do think there's a bit more near-term volatility in the markets, uh, but beyond that, we should start to at some point get a bit into the fourth quarter, and this would be a good group to uh, look at. Now, I want to tell you about the upcoming Wealth 365 online trader summit. It's the largest traders and investors summit in the world. I'll be speaking and talking about uh, a way that you can uh, dramatically increase your profitability, your hit rate. There's going to be uh, a lot of great information from a lot of different speakers, experienced traders and investors. Lots of, I always say, lots of free uh, goodies and giveaways. You can get a lot of uh, free education uh, to, to take with you, indicators, all sorts of stuff. So uh, I would highly encourage you to sign up. There's a link down below. It's absolutely free. And uh, aside of, uh, besides always speaking there, I always make sure I listen to other uh, speakers talk as well. There's always something uh, to learn. In fact, there's always a lot to learn. So Wealth 365 coming up here in October, entirely free. Make sure uh, you do join. Let's move on to these stocks that we think could break out. Now, when we look at the uh, world of uh, uh, dining and whether that's uh, uh, you know fast food, fast casual, or sort of higher end, um, there's been some resurgence or some some reopening, and some of the stocks that have done the best have been on in the real fast sort of fast food area. So you look at something like Yum Brands. Uh, you can even look at something uh, like a McDonald's, essentially, you know, surging to to all time highs here. Um, we do think there's still more potential upside there, but one thing that has been lagging has been. Um, sort of the, the, I don't want to call it fine dining, but it's kind of, I don't, uh, there's probably a technical term for it, but something in between uh, sort of uh, uh, fast casual and, and fine. They're chains, but uh, they're chains that are, you know, a, a bit more elegant, if you will, in terms of, uh, not all of them, but, but in terms of the overall experience. So you look at a name like uh, Cheesecake Factory, I know some of you guys are thinking, well, that's not fine dining. It's not, but it's not McDonald's, right? And so you look at a stock like this, and you can look at the technical picture. You can see we had a check back to where it broke out from. Then Delta came in the spring, and the stock basically checked back to where it broke out from. We think a great entry point. Let's talk about beyond the chart, and there's a few more charts I want to show you of other names uh, in the same space that are maybe even more compelling. But let's talk about what could go right here. So as things hopefully continue to reopen, we're starting to see travel borders open between uh, between the U.S. and Europe. I think that's going to help uh, as well, particularly as we head into the winter months. Um, and uh, a lot of people have still been quite, uh, for a lot of reasons, uh, hesitant to do a lot of indoor dining in any meaningful way. Uh, and these are the kinds of restaurants that would benefit even more. Now, of course, there are uh, uh, supply issues, there's inflation uh, pressures, um, and of course, there's a shortage of staff. We do think that over time, a lot of that is going to work its way out as we start to roll through what hopefully is sort of the tail end of the pandemic. And we think these are names that could really benefit. So you look at something like Cheesecake Factory, the ticker symbol is C-A-K-E. We think the one has plenty of upside at the very least back into the mid 60s. How about two more? Or how about one more? Excuse me. How about BLMN? Smaller capitalization stock, not uh, not as well known. Uh, the restaurants that it has are things like Carabas, um, and uh, and 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 you know names that are, you know, and and out. I think Outback Steakhouse and those kind of places. But you look at this stock. Just let's look about it optically, and you can see it's been struggling a lot with the sort of mid to high 20s, uh, which is indeed exactly where it's basically checked back to over the past few months. And if you want to be very technical about it, you can see there's a consolidation pattern. The path of least resistance, in our opinion, ultimately will be higher, probably into low to mid-30s, potentially even well beyond that. 
So here you have a, a fundamental story. You have a structural story, which makes sense in terms of where we are in terms of the pandemic and, 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 uh, and how that's looking to play out. Uh, and of course, you have the charts. So a couple of names that we like here, Cake, C-A-K-E, B-L-M-N, that's this one. They're not swing trades. They're more like from an investment perspective, at least multi-month. But we do think these have plenty of upside in terms of breakout potential. Hope it helps. And again, make sure you join us completely free. Wealth365, the world's largest trader and investors conference. Looking forward to seeing you guys there. Take care.